Hello everybody, this is Richard Sispidis and I wanted to upload a video to talk about um, resurrection and reanimation of dead bodies, being able to do these things. This is a video of me just outside. Um, um, I just found this bird here and I wanted to upload a video to talk about death and everything. I think it's very important. I think it's something that we can dabble on and to discuss, you know, something very interesting. And, 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 and I had this idea about how to do psychonesis. Um, uh, about bringing back uh, people that are dead or animals that have passed away. I had this idea for a while and I just kind of pondering and I kind of came up with a, a few ways to kind of go about doing this, to resurrect a dead body or bring back a person <clears throat> or an animal back to life. And it's very similar to um, psychokinesis techniques. Um, um, the thing is, is that um, you're utilizing the same technique of focus and kind of working under your, your, your subconscious working under uh, working under um, the radar of the conscious mind and is utilizing um, that soft um, um, energy um, to to affect your external reality and um, I wanted to put together like just to put together a video about you know um, how to you know go about practicing putting in practice how to resurrect dead bodies and the one the one thing that I've came up to think is that you, you see this bird here you see, you know, um, you you know that it it, it had it, you know it has personality, it has character, it has mannerisms, and what you do is that you reflect back how that bird was when it was alive, how that dog or cat was when it was alive, how did it act, how did it move, was it playful, was it very stern and very mean, you know, um, there are certain mannerisms and characteristics of a person or or. Or loved one or a friend, you know, um, for, for just an example, a crazy example, if you pass away or something. And you have to do this when the body is fresh like this, the bird is fresh. And so, like, it, if you don't um, know the bird, you know, if you don't know the animal or know nothing about it, you can just guess. You know, because most animals, they, they act like each other, like birds act like birds and cats and dogs act like, act like each other. And um, you, you, you can guess, like, this bird used to be very lively. You know, um, it had a great personality, you know, it had a lot of life in it. Um, um, I had a lot of joy. Um, it, it was kind of playful at times. Maybe you can kind of guess. So what it is, is that it, it, it's like this, like your friends and your family and animals that you love, they're alive inside of your mind and your heart. Even when they're not there, your friend can visit you for a little while and then go back home, back to, you know, New York or Miami. They're not there, but in your mind and your heart, you know how they act and what they say and what personality they are. You hold them, you, they're alive still in you, like they're there still inside of you in your mind and your heart. Even though they're not physically there, moving around or talking, they're alive in you. And what, what it is is that, you know, for, for like a dead body, what you do is that you project back the life that, that, um, that you recognize in that, that animal. What you remember, you know, you. You project back, just like with the psychonesis, you're projecting back that life into the animal to bring it back to life. And the same thing with uh, with um, I'm a dead person. What you're doing is that you're um, sitting there, relaxed, patient, observing this still body, this body that's not moving, and you're anticipating life returning, M movement, hand movement, subtle, soft movement. You're anticipating it. And it's kind of like, like a good example is like um, when you see your friend or your, or, or like a, a relative, you know, they spend a night or whatever, your kids or whatever. And, you know, they always wake up at nine, you know, nine in the morning. And then you go, you know, this example, you know, you get up like five minutes before they get up, they wake up and you sit there, you just wait, you know, it's just an example. It's not going to be accurate, but, you know, and what it is is that they're laying motionless on this bed. So it's like in a way they're, they're kind of like. Uh, reenacting death by being there asleep. I mean, they, they are breathing a little bit, but it's reenacting. It's kind of similar to it. They're not motion. They're not moving. So what it is that you're in, it, just the same way. You're anticipating motion to occur. You're anticipating that person getting up any moment. You feel it in your gut. You know, you're not forcing the anticipation. You're being patient. You're observing, you know, but you believe and you have faith and just like when they're asleep, you, you can anticipate, and then a few seconds later, the body starts to move, the hands start to move a little bit, they stretch, they yawn, their eyes start to open slowly, you know, just like how they're waking up when, well, from sleep. It's similar, 
uh, to in, in that manner is that the person is waking up from slumber, from a sleep. They're waking up. They're awakening. And the same thing is that with death is that you're what it is that you're projecting back life that you feel in your mind and your heart of who these animals and people are. And you're projecting that energy of that reanimated in that that power of the character, personality, mannerism of that person and animal. You believe they're alive in you. And all you have to do is just project that mental, mental, uh, visual um, energy that you feel in your mind and your heart back onto this motionless body and you're anticipating it. Just understand the animal, understand the characteristics, believe that it's just sleeping and that it'll wake up. It takes time, but I do believe that this technique is good is my opinion, but I believe that this is how you can resurrect and reanimate the dead body. Thank you.